हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू आवर सेकेंड क्लास ऑफ और एक डेटा बेस एडमिन ट्यूटोरियल सो इन टूडे क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द और एक डेटा बेस आर्किटेक्चर सो बेसिकली इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू पार्ट दैट इज और डेटा बेस इंस्टांस एंड फिजिकल डेटा बेस स्ट्रक्चर सो फिजिकल डेटा बेस स्ट्रक्चर कंटेंस थ्री थिंग्स डेटा फाइल्स कंट्रोल फाइल्स एंड डोडोलॉग फाइल्स सो लेट्स सी इन डिटेल so this is oracle database server architecture so basically oracle database server architecture uh, is a, a combination of two part the one is a instance and second is a physical database server so here you can see two black uh, vertical line so one is the instance and second is the database instance means a part of running oracle database server which is available on server ram on system ram or uh, maybe laptop ram where the database server physical database server means a part of database which is actually uh, available on the hard drive which is actually available on the storage which is uh, saved so again the oracle instance is divided in two part you can see the green vertical line here one is the sga system global area or shared global area both are correct and second is the background processes you can see is smon pmon db writer checkpoint log writer archiver number 1 to 10 it may be recovery process and other process so before going forward i would like to just abbreviate uh, abbreviate the all uh, that uh, Uh, keywords into the oracle that is sga pg all those things so starting from oracle instance so as i told you oracle instance is a combination of two part sga and second is the pg so in the sga system global area means when we start oracle database server on server so it allocates some part into the system ram so in system ram in in which form this part is going to be allocated that is a sga so here we are going to majorly the uh, the major parts which is available in the sga that is uh, the first part in sga that is the most important that is a shared global area library kaise data dictionary kaise so this shared global area uh, sorry shared pool is a area which contains library kaise and data dictionary kaise library kaise it basically a kaise which is taken from uh, physical database files which contains all uh, library uh, sql and plsql keyword like select select uh, and data type uh, and uh, sql statement all those things conditions everything is cached in a library cache where the data dictionary cache means the metadata information of the database like uh, we are storing the data into some tables so that basic table informations uh, will be cached into the data dictionary database buffer kaise database buffer kaise something when we insert some data or do some changes or we select the data from database server so actually data comes from physical storage from hard disk to the ram to the primary memory and then from primary memory we can see so the actual data which we are going to see or we are going to update or we are going to insert that is always available on the database buffer kaise stream pool a stream pool basically a pool given by the uh, oracle when we are going to configure the streaming for the replications all those things so that uh, time stream pool comes into the picture second thing is a large pool large pool is a basically a pool which are used to uh, act when we use to run our main or backup recovery tools so this uh, large pool uh, store the our main uh, caching informations and also if suppose uh, there is a number of collection uh, connection on the database if the sg uh, the shared pool is uh, fully utilized so it can borrow the space from the large pool so ideally the large large pool is used for the r man but if in case shared pool is full so our uh, large pool may the, the space in the large pool may be utilized into the sg java pool it's a dedicated pool for the java connections java apis when uh, our applications is designed in the java or using the web logic redo log buffer redo log buffer means uh, 
when we do some data changes or insertion or anything so basically this uh, do the insertion but it don't uh, physically put the data into the database files it means it actually it uh, don't save the data until and unless we don't give the commit, commit statement so when we commit the data then the data uh, transfer from the database buffer cache to redo log buffer and then redo log from the redo log buffer log writer uh, write the data into the online redo log files and then later it go to the database files so once the data is written to the redo log files it means our data is saved so there is just some conditions where uh, the log writer this background process works uh, to write the data from redo log buffer to the uh, redo log, online redo log files either one third full or uh, 3 mb is reached uh, like this uh, situations if any of this is occurred then it writes the data into the online redo log files yeah so we have discussed all the pools which is available in the shared global area now second uh, things we will uh, discuss on the uh, processes so when any client connect to the database or uh, trying to connect to the database either using the uh, website or using the any oracle tools like sql developer command prompt cmd or plsql developer or anything so when the user start this connections so there is a one process automatically allocated at the user side that is a user process so once the user put the information username password and connection detail of the server then this information go to the listener and listen listener listen those informations and validate the connections whether the user which information is given by the user username password and database is correct if it is correct then server process will make the dedicated uh, the dedicated connections to the user process so this is the user process and server process server process always react on the sga side and the pga pga is uh, basically a program global area uh, it's basically when uh, like we do some uh, changes or we do perform some actions on the database so there is a one private area allocated to the user like where this stacking informations or cursor informations may be stored so this is uh, used for the pg smon smon is basically a system global area it reacts uh, in a case of any database crisis uh, database in the sense instance crisis like a server is running and uh, suddenly power goes out or uh, ram got crashed something so in that case which the session uh, which is committed their data so it will uh, later when the uh, server will up it will automatically the data from the redo log buffer it will try to write in the online redo log files and then it will go to the data files so it performs as the instance recovery pmon process monitor it basically a log holder process which react on the uh, locking things so basically when we update some data and we have not counted that data so that data will not be uh, affected into the physical files means other user cannot see that new data why because currently it is logged when we commit this data then it's physically written to the data file so other user as well can see so these logging things is uh, managed by the pmon database writer so database writer reacts between the uh, instance and the physical database files suppose when we are accessing some data from the database and which is uh, physically uh, which is not available into the ram into this instance memory or the database buffer cache so the it will get uh, the data from database writer to the buffer cache and from the buffer cache it will display to the user or suppose our buffer cache size is only uh, 500 mb and we are doing some insertion of 1 gb so it cannot hold the whole data into the buffer database buffer cache so the database writer will directly write that data to the data files and will make a checkpoint into the SGA itself. So if you will commit that data, so that data will be saved into the data file, otherwise it will be reverted. So of course this data will be uh, the data will be available into the under data files. Checkpoint. Checkpoint is uh, basically a background process which uh, reacts when uh, any uh, uh, like uh, there is some things like uh, if a complete cycle like we are we are having two redo log files and both got full so the checkpoint will happen so this data will be uh, saved into the data files and this redo online redo log files will be empty to write another data or 
be alter table space or be a data file so in some case in these cases a checkpoint always will happen and the data from the online data log files will be saved into the actual physical data files archiver archiver process reacts if our database in archive log mode archive log mode means uh, if we enable the archive log later we will see the practically into our next uh, tutorial so archival is basically a database uh, new database process uh, it allocates into the background if we enable the archiving on the database uh, suppose we have ar uh, enabled the archive onto the database so when this one online data log file is full and it switch to another one so the one backup will automatically generated into the other locations which locations we have specified so that file will be known as archive log files so it will be generated and it will be working on behalf of archival only archival process only reco process this process is basically a recovery process uh, uh, that is uh, working uh, behind the transactions all those things and there is just so many other uh, uh, processes which uh, works onto the database like locking for the locking also there is some processes and for uh, diagnostic also there is uh, some processes so there is a uh, some optional processes as well into the database so this is the storage structure the second one uh, is the database which i told you which is physically available on the hard disk it majorly contain three files database files it always uh, works with the extension dot dbf control file its uh, extension is dot ctl and uh, online uh, redo log file is uh, extension of uh, dot uh, log so these these are three major database files and apart from that of course is password file and uh, parameter file so also it is stored on the server uh, next page database buffer cache so what i explain you here uh, it will be in more detail uh, so what is the database buffer cache is part of a sga holds copies of data blocks that are read from the data files i told you is shared by all the concurrent users means it's a part of sga in the previous we have seen here database buffer cache is inside of the sga so that's why it is part of sga holds copies of uh, data blocks that are read from data files means if we are accessing that data and which is physically not available into the database buffer cache so the database writer has given that data into the database buffer cache and then it transfer to the user which requested that data and is shared by the all concurrent user means on the same database suppose 100 user connected so 100 user can see the data all together concurrently so here is the example again here the instance sg under the sg database buffer cache it log buffer cache shared pool and it contains library cache, data dictionary cache, background processes, all those things. Next, redo log buffer. I already explained. It's a circular buffer in the SGA. Means uh, when it fills, it uh, informs the log writer, and then log writer write the data to the online redo log buffer, uh, online redo log files. Holds information about changes made to the database. I told you once uh, we commit that changes, we commit the transactions, then that data go to the uh, online redo log buffer cache. Contain redo entries that have the information to redo changes made by the operations such as DML and DDL. So what the transactions we are making when we do the commit, then it means that data is supposed to be redo. It means it's supposed to be moved forward or it's uh, supposed to be saved into the database files. So here uh, this data goes to redo log buffer cache. Once this situation occurs, one third full or three MB full. So in that situations, it will notify to the log writer, and then log writer will write the data to the online redo log files for physical uh, for saving on the physical data files. Shared pool. Shared pool is a portion of SGA. Again, it's a part of SGA. Contains library cache. Library cache means uh, all the libraries imported into here, all SQL and PLSQL libraries, shared SQL area. SG itself it is data dictionary cache it contains all metadata of database tables which all tables available which are views available I, I mean the database objects indexes triggers so this uh, basic information will be cached to the data dictionary cache and control structure control structure it contains like how the execution uh, like when we give some query so it, this query first it go to the prepare and then parsing and then execution and then fetch the data so all this how this query will be control structured to going forward 
so uh, this uh, part also will be acting into the SG only so same here in the structure as we can see shared pool contain the library cache and data dictionary cache and here shared SQL area data dictionary cache library cache and other other means uh, global collection GC, uh, connection area GC you can see where the connection information will be available I mean the user is logging what time they are uh, user is logging and how much uh, resources utilizing all those things uh, this information is stored in the global connection area so now database storage architecture before we have discussed on the back data oracle database server architecture so server is a combination of both instance and database again instance is a combination of SGA and background processes so here in this next chapter we are going to discuss only database structure the physical database physical files so database storage structure a physical file which is stored on the database physically so this is the control file we have discussed it contains the key informations how many data files is available what is the current uh, sequence number of the database SCN, I mean the SCN of the database, all those information, data files, actual physical informations of the all data, whole database, whole tables, everything, online redo log files, our data which is saved from the online redo log buffer to the redo log files, parameter files which contain the system parameter, how much uh, space uh, should be allocated into the RAM for Oracle instance, like uh, and how much should be the open uh, uh, processes how much session can be connected into the database so all these things will be controlled from the parameter files backup files backup files I told if you, we are uh, having the backup we are taking the backup so where we have taken the backup so it's also available and database have the information of this backup file usually uh, it uh, has the information in, into the control file and then uh, archived uh, redo log file as I told if we have enabled the archive log on the database so one more file will be generating on each switch of the online redo log file so that is known as archive log file password file it contains the uh, sys dba uh, password i mean the sys password and uh, which authenticate the connections uh, for the database if data, uh, for the sys user suppose if database is down so normal user cannot connect so who will install the uh, sorry start the database only sys user can start the database so this password file will validate the connections of the sys user so that sys user can log in into the ideal session when the database is down and start the database so another user uh, can log in on the database alert log and trash file this is the alert log file which uh, contains the logs of the database the change log any critical information log switch when switch happens everything so this is the log files again as i told database files uh, so database uh, files uh, majorly of three types control files it contains the data about the database itself that is physical database structure information i mean how many database uh, files is there dbf file table spaces redo log file group all those things these files are critical to the database uh, without them you cannot open a database means when we start the database first uh, uh, the parameter file react so it uh, start our database in no mount mode and then control file comes into the picture it checks all the physical i mean all the physical files redo log files data files is available or not so if everything is available then it will mount the database and then data files it will check the status of all data files header header if everything okay then it will start the data files no sorry database so data files contain the user or application data of the database as well as metadata and the data dictionary so what it told everything of the database is stored in the data files online redo log files allow the instance recovery of the database like i told as something crash or uh, 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 interrupted power supply happens I mean this power supply interrupted and uh, database got uh, suddenly down so this online redo log files will react to start the database into the previous mode so that any complete transactions uh, will not lose their data okay so this was the second part and third part uh, we will uh, discuss our next chapter please uh, keep watching and subscribe our channel for uh, latest update on this uh, new videos thank you